to look at uh, one of the labs uh, that um, we were working on. Uh, it's called um, Using Logs to Help You Track Down an Issue in Windows. It's a uh, Google IT Support Professional um, lab. So I'm going to go ahead and already get the lab up and go ahead and start this lab out. Go ahead and open up Windows VM. And uh, let's look at what the lab wants us to do. OK, so the first thing it wants us to do is it wants us to go ahead and uh, view the logs on Windows. And to do that, we're going to have to open up the uh, event viewer. And uh, once we do that, uh, then we will migrate to the logs. So let's go ahead and go to our, our, our logs uh, window here where our lab is. Uh, it's still uh, taking a little time to open up. Uh, be patient. Right, it's still working a little bit and we'll give it a little bit of a time. Sometimes it takes a little time for the the uh, quick labs to come up. Let's go ahead and uh, click on allow. Uh, and so now we have our lab up. Uh, we'll go down here to the hourglass here and we want to uh, open up the event viewer. So let's type event here. And, and then that will give us all the apps that uh, begin with the event. There's our event viewer. So go ahead and pull that up. Um, and uh, once that comes up, then we'll migrate to uh, the logs that it wants us to look at. OK, so we want to do the uh, Windows logs. That's the ones we want to look at. And uh, specifically, we want to uh, based on the. Um, the lab, it wants us to look at the event viewer and then the application logs that are under the Windows logs. So we're going to go back to our lab and open up the applications. And, uh, and that should give us all the uh, errors uh, and error messages or, or warnings that are in the application logs. Like it's still working. Uh, looks like there's about 575 logs there. Uh, still, uh, still working to uh, get those together for us. They should pop up here in a minute. There we go. OK, now the only logs that we are concerned about based on the lab is the um, the quick lab logs. So that's the only ones we want to uh, really look at. But we have a lot of other stuff there. So we're going to go over here to and we're going to filter the current logs. We're going to do that. And then the ones that we want to look at are the um, quick labs. We're going to look down the keywords. See, that's not might be it. Let's go here. Right here, go to event source and we're going to look for just quick lab. So let's scroll down to the quick labs under the event sources. And then we'll look at those logs. There are a lot of logs there. A lot, a lot of them. And let's see, we want the quick lab. Let's see here. Almost there. And there we go right there. These are the ones we want right here. Go ahead and check those and then uh, we'll say OK. And then that would just give us the uh, only the logs that we are simply want to work on and fix. So let's look at the first one. We'll double click on that and it says, oh, this space is super low. Fix it. And what does it mean by that? So we we'll look at the details and it just says that this this space is low. So we know we only have one disk on this system so that this will be the uh, C drive. So we're going to go ahead and open up the uh, file explorer down here and bring that up. OK, and we want to look at this BC and let's look at the, the disk. This is our only disk that we have here. So that's be the seed uh, and go over here and click on the C drive. Don't double click it. Just click it once. Click there and uh, what I did was I click in this little search window here and do the search tools. And since we know it's a, it's a, it's a disk space is bad, we want to try to find the, the files that are too large. OK, so we're going to go to size and let's look at things that are gigantic. OK, so we clicked on that and it, it, it's working and we're going to let it work. It takes a little time. Uh, this message here says turn on indexing. That should make it faster. So we're going to click on that and turn on indexing. 
OK, and that's supposed to make the search run a little bit faster. So we wait for that. OK, to uh, get done uh, this uh, uh, particular uh, error message we're trying to fix here does take a little time, so you need to be patient and wait for it. Um, sometimes it could take up to five minutes before it finds the uh, uh, the uh, files that are too large, so let's just be patient and wait for it, okay? All right, so it looks like it found an uh, ultra mega large file there. I look like that file is 9.38 gigabytes. Boy, that's large. So let's go ahead and click on that. And we're going to just remove that file, right? Because that's the only thing we want to do is get rid of that. So we want to click on the file and then right click and go down here to delete. And let's let that delete it. OK, so while that's working, we'll go ahead and go on to the the next uh, issue that we have here. So we'll just make this minimize this that window. We'll close that window and now we'll go to the next one, which is information. And it says, oh, error, right permission denied for everyone on uh, file C colon slash users slash temp slash super secret file dot text. So with this error message, we have to go to that uh, particular file and we need to change the permissions on it uh, so that uh, everybody can access that file. OK, so we'll pull up our file explorer again. OK, and right now that's still working. We'll let that continue to work. We'll click on this PC, go to the C drive, double click on the C drive. Uh, and then let me see this, move this over here a little bit. That says uh, that's in the uh, C, C drive users temp. So we're going to go to C drive users, then dot temp. So we're double clicking on that. And there's that super secret file. So we want to click on that file and right click because what we want to do is change the security stuff on that. So we want to go to the properties. We clicked on the file and right click and we're going to pull up the properties and we want to go to security because that's what we're trying to change. And we see that for everyone right now, everyone only has read, execute and read permissions. Well, we want it to open that wide open. So we want to also give everybody write permissions as well. So we want to while we're on everyone, we're going to go ahead and click edit and we just want to go down here and allow write permissions and apply. OK, and then say OK. All right. And that should take care of that problem. We'll go, go double check on that. So let's go back to our our, um, our our lab here and let's go ahead and open this orange thing up over here on the side and let's see if we change the file fix file permissions. Let's see if we fix that issue. All right, good. So we got the fixed file permissions fixed on that lab. We got the load disk space fixed on that that part that uh, lab as well. So we want to go back here and go to our next uh, message. Trying to get to that message there. Let's go. Here, get that out the way. Let's bring that down. We want to go back to our lab, which is here. Okay. And so we got that fixed. So we, we can go ahead and close that window out. Uh, we'll close this and then we'll go to our next warning. Okay. And our next warning says uh, process totally not malicious is a malicious process it wants us to terminate this process immediately now to pull up processes and to terminate a process we need to pull up the task manager application so we can go down here to this hourglass again and we want to go to the task manager okay 
and there's a task manager. So if you want to ever uh, delete applications or stop applications, you want to pull the task manager. Uh, we're going to go to the more details, uh, and that should give us all the applications that are currently running. And we're going to see if we can find this totally malicious process. OK, so let's scroll down, see if we see totally malicious uh, process here. See so if we see that. Um, Okay, so keep scrolling down. I don't see a totally malicious process. So um, there, we don't see that. Uh, we go to services and see if we see that there. Um, and uh, we'll see if we see that. Uh, I don't see that. Uh, go to services, see if we see totally malicious there. Uh, don't see totally malicious there as well. Okay, so maybe the process may have uh, died. So. Let's go ahead and, and we're going to go and we're going to double check with, with our lab and see if our lab says that corrupted file or, or in malicious process is fixed. We're going to go check that. Let's go ahead and click on that. All right, so it looks like uh, for some odd reason, which I think it may be the case, that when we deleted that corrupted file, that it also deleted that process. So maybe that's what happened. We're gonna assume that that's what happened with that uh, process and why it's not there now, okay? So uh, let's go ahead and go to our, our next thing. So we're gonna close these two windows down. We're gonna go to our fourth warning. And our fourth warning says, uh, the VLC package is out of date. Upgrade to the latest version. OK, so uh, we have a VLC package. Uh, if you look to the left there, we can see that there's a VLC package right there. We're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, what I want to do is I'm going to click on that process. I'm going to right click and what I'm going to do is um, I, because I know that when you try to update this process from the actual process, it won't do it. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to go up here to Google Chrome and we're going to go ahead and pull up uh, the latest version of the VLC package. We're going to go ahead and pull that up. Uh, so let's wait for it to pop up. Uh, and we'll pull up the latest version. So we're going to go ahead and search for the VOC media player download. There we go, right here. That's what we want. So let's click on that. And we see it says download official VOC media player for Windows. We want to go ahead and click on that. And, and we want to download that package for 64 bit, OK, for Windows. Let's see, it's 64 bit. Uh, we'll say 64 bit installer version. We'll go ahead and do that. And that should automatically download that for us. Uh, once that's downloaded, then uh, we can go ahead and install that. So, uh, I mean, it should be there it goes. So, downloaded it, popped up that player for us. Just double click on that. And that should start the process. Just go through the sequence of things. Okay, so we're going to do that. Okay. And next, and next. And now we're going to get it updated. OK. All right, so I know that uh, clicking on that VLC process and bringing it up, it does have another route where you can go and upgrade it, but that's not that easy. And sometimes it tends not to work. So what I tell my students do is download it from Google Chrome and then that way you'll you make sure you get the latest version. So let's go ahead and check and make sure that we have uh, actually fixed that process. Um, We'll make sure of that. One second. Let's go ahead and click on that. Bring that up and let's go ahead and check on update VLC. Let's check and see if that's completed. All right, so we'll check, click on that. Voila, the VLC package has been updated. So let's go back and now we're going to go and we're going to work on our our last lab. OK, and go ahead and close down this VLC package. We'll close that down and our last warning here. Let's go ahead and pull that up and it says uh, there is a corrupted file found in C drive users corrupted file. Remove this file. So we want again, we want to pull up the file explorer. OK, and we want to migrate to that particular area. Let's bring this down a little bit so we can see where we're going. Uh, we're going to go to this PC. Uh, let's go to the C drive, double click on that, and it says users, double click on that, and then there's that corrupted file, so we just need to remove that. So we're going to right click on it once, uh, I mean click on it, and then right click, and go ahead and delete that. Okay, so the file is deleted now. Let's go check and see how our labs are doing. 
Um, this is our looks like our last one. Um, OK, voila. So looks like uh, we got that all complete now. Uh, everything is is done. We got 50 out of 50 here. Uh, we can go ahead and in our lab. Uh, make sure that you uh, when you're in the lab that you actually give it to stars and submit it. Do not hit that cancel because then you have to start and do the lab all over again. OK, so go ahead and submit it and voila, the lab is done and that's it for uh, using logs to help you track down issues in Windows.